Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing information in regards to Walmart and regards to Target, both for their upcoming PlayStation 5 restocks, Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition for both the retailers, and also a bit more walk-in information going and floating on. We have some kind of cool things, also confirming some small stock arrivals from employees themselves, and also website listings and API changes, which usually does go and signify that there actually is a drop, at least in motion or on the way. So a lot of fun stuff too and i think a lot of people especially for the xbox series x halo infinite edition have been very 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 like eyes on the prize for it especially because they're still in the pre-order for it and as well as also the fact that the console is also limited edition so i'm with you guys i personally am even trying to go get one myself so i kind of have a little bit of the extra musto and gusto to try my best to go get the consoles with you guys so i'm gonna try my best to keep you guys in loop so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well make sure you guys are subscribed for our ps5 giveaway i think i'll have that video all done by sunday for announcing the next giveaway and all that stuff too as well so be on the lookout for that as well we have the amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller twitter and twitch stream as well link down below sign up for weeble deposit 100 dollars. you guys go get free stock free money one base you guys go buy 100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin and as always let's go down in the video itself so we have a lot of things to go talk about here first and foremost let me go and talk about the walmart one because i'll go into this uh, target one right afterwards so if you guys saw, we actually made a really quick passing video on this before, but then we've done a little bit more digging on this, and I think it's actually done a little bit more intriguing stuff for Walmart. This is kind of like, I think the more better stuff's probably on Target in like a minute or so, but if you guys have been trying to go get the consoles, we did actually go make a video on this around three or four days ago that we saw this random listing over here from Microsoft for the Microsoft Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition. Now, we saw this before the last drop happened for Walmart, so we were kind of somewhat speculating that they would maybe work in more, and it wouldn't make sense because we've seen walmart do multiple xbox series x halo infinite drops so i just want to go bring in a little extra quick bait attention that we still saw this and it was from an official retailer such as microsoft and walmart so it wasn't like a third party you know seller or something like that mixed on in so just keep that in mind and bear that in mind when it comes to all of these drops that we are at least seeing that still when it comes to walmart i think another good example too as well of mixed on in if you guys are even just trying to find it even on the website itself the only things we get to basically get to go and see is more so on just the normal Xbox Series X consoles over here. So I just want to keep you guys in the loop that we haven't seen Walmart do any Xbox Series Xs in quite some time. We can maybe be anticipating another one, and we're still maybe expecting one from a Walmart Plus drop. But I just want to bring that attention to again because we haven't seen anything from it for a few days. And a lot of folks out here have been trying to get their actual Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Editions, like I said, myself included. But for a little bit more intriguing stuff in all of this, Target. Now... I want, to, I want to talk about this a little, like, especially over here. So Target actually did also, and this goes with the PS5. We'll talk about, like, newest stock arrivals in a second. Target actually never did, at least to my, like, remembering, right, as long as I'm not dumb. Target, I do believe, never actually did any pre-orders and proper sales, unless maybe on, like, the first day or week or so. Uh, so, like, we haven't seen anything since then, at least for at least the bare minimum. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong for, like, if there's, like, any other stuff from the first day. But I don't think they ever really did anything for the first day. But for this, they actually did go and have their Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition bundle actually be back on the website and as well same with the playstation 5 now actually a few people call it out and mentioned it too as well i think i also mentioned this in passing as well but when it comes to this that means a few things we always talk about this especially for target drops whenever you go and have them mess around with the website usually the websites for almost all these big retailers amazon best buy gamestop target whatever it is are usually like site unseen if you have not seen them actually go and put like anything on the website it's kind of almost safely to assume that there's nothing going on that's why we kind of brought to attention that like the bj's listings were changed because guess what they weren't changed for like three months so that means that an employee had to go through the system someone had the authorization and sometimes these retailers also have to take the product listing down to make either a brand new link so like a brand new sku unit or brand new link to the website on this so say like let's just say for a rough example in case you guys don't have usually hear this as much let's say for the same exact link maybe there's like an a4169785 or something like that just just for a really rough example when it came to that so when you guys go and see this uh, sometimes they have to go and change the website, take it down and adjust stuff. I'm sure you guys can kind of follow that. So we did not go and see any updates for the Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition on Target, but a few days ago we have seen it. And as of recently, it was also once again taken off the web page. So 
well, as I mentioned, we usually see either for the fact that they're prepping up for their next upcoming drop, or they're also changing the SKUs and links for the next upcoming drop. And they usually don't ever adjust the website because they have to pay an employee to do it. There's like a to-do list. It's kind of like if you have a working website at your restaurant, you're not going to change it. You're not going to really go on it like in the internals unless you're going to be changing something, changing the menu. I'm, I'm sure you guys get what I mean. So keep that in mind. The Xbox Series X has been very, very quiet for Target. And once again, we're now seeing new listings. Although the normal console is actually coming out pretty soon, like in terms of like, but right now we're on the pre-orders. So if anything, they can maybe just be prepping up for their next upcoming wave, which is good to know because that means we'll see maybe a lot more retailers trying to get the console and sell the console. So that's good news either way. Or they're trying to go prep up for another pre-order drop maybe before the holidays or the official release. So either way, seeing this for the Xbox Series X is very nice to go and see. As well, same thing for the Target. I know a lot of you guys are also still trying to get your PS5s. When it comes to the PlayStation 5s too as well, they did a similar thing. They oh, That's why some people are kind of speculating a Target drop throughout this past like week, these past like two or three days or so, because even though it hasn't been that that long, I think we'll probably be anticipating another Target drop in the future, because once again, we'll talk about this again like in a second, but we actually have not seen it for like, you know, like two weeks or so, uh, but they did also change up their website listings. So they did go and add up new listings. They removed the PlayStation 5, but also added the PlayStation 5 as well. Kind of the same ramble as we talked about where if someone has to physically be paid to do it, an employee has to manage it slash do it. And as we see this happening, it's kind of like, <laughs> that means that there's something on the going too. So it's also going to bump up the likelihood of a target restock. But I think a lot of us are more focused on the Xbox Series X as of right this second. And then the part three of this video when it comes to target, which is good news, we actually did finally go and see another stock arrival when it came to the Las Vegas, Nevada. We have a few good contacts. We have some up in like New York and a few other various locations. But the one up in Vegas, we actually did go and have small stock arrivals. And they have confirmed now that four PlayStation 5 disc editions have showed up at their store. So I just want to let you guys know that we are seeing stock there. We are seeing stock physically in stores. We have not, as of now, seen any Xbox Series Xs in store for Target as of yet. So I'm not sure, like, if we see any of stuff, I'll let you guys know. We're not sure if we're doing an online order, like how they do it, say, for an Amazon, you're shipping to your house. But usually Target drops, say, especially for the PS5, or just for their local store. You buy online for your local store, and you pick it up in your local store kind of how Best Buy does it. So keep that in mind that we are seeing stock arrivals now, which will maybe be bumping up the likelihood of a target drop this week, although we have not seen other confirmations from other stores. So like I usually like to use my New York contact because he's very been on point and has been kind of with me since like the entire start of these drops. Been very good with their sources, very good with their stock arrivals, very good on top of that. Uh, not, nothing bad against my Vegas boy. If you're watching this, I love you. Helped out a lot too as well. But I think for at least in my mind, you guys would also probably agree on this too. Whenever it comes to those big retailers, area think like New York, Chicago, maybe like, you know, in the California and like San Francisco, Los Angeles, etc. Those are kind of like places to be hotspots because no matter what, a lot of those stores and a lot of those people have like millions of people there. So those stores usually have a slightly bigger stock and usually get their stock faster. Like you don't want to do a nationwide drop where someone in New York doesn't have stock, but someone randomly in Vegas does. Like nothing known against if you guys are in Nevada and Vegas and all that type of stuff. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So all around, good news on this. So good news on the Xbox. We'll be watching that this next two weeks or so. Good news on the Target drops too as well. Good news on stock arrivals. And last but not least, as I'm sure you guys have seen, there is also, once again, another brand new Nintendo Switch console. And when it comes to this, it's the Nintendo Switch Lite. And we've actually been seeing these brand new Pokemon. This is in regards to the brand new Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes that are coming out, I think, like these next two months. I, I don't know the exact date. I'll probably want to stream it up on Twitch. I'll make sure you guys are following up on Twitch if you guys want. Uh, but when it comes to this stuff, we know it's coming soon. And uh, the game itself. So they're actually selling out these brand new editions of the consoles. So we still have been also seeing Switch OLEDs. We did cover that up in the news itself. For all the big retailers like Target, Walmart, and uh, the GameStop too. But also as well, I just want to give you guys quick reminders that we are also seeing the brand new Pokemon consoles in many various stores. Which is also kind of weird that they're also releasing a brand new iteration of the Switch as the Switch OLED is still going on. But at the same time, it's kind of like, what can you do? Like, I guess just Nintendo wants to get them holiday sales. They don't have a Switch Pro out yet. So why not? Let's just go and sell one brand new Switch Lite for the Pokemon fanatics and keep on selling our Switch OLEDs for the homies out there who want that, like, nice screen and somewhat baby internal upgrades. So interesting stuff. We actually have some cool news over here. So basically, a lot of the stuff is Target's going to be happening probably maybe this upcoming week. The likelihood goes up. And it's very, we're going to be probably more closely watching the Xbox Series X for Walmart, maybe for Walmart Plus or throughout this next week because we had three drops 
drops and Target as well for their Xbox Series X. They're prepping up for it, which is very nice to go and see. So if you guys all enjoyed the video, I'll probably have a few more videos all throughout these next few days and this weekend. As well, make sure you guys keep on checking your store for walk-ins as well. We have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 Disc Digital Console Controller. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the PS5 giveaway, Twitter and Twitch room down below. As well, we do have the Weeble. Sign up for that Weeble deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys are all great. Love you guys.